Hello web developers, in this video we're going over events. In our previous video we saw an introduction to jQuery and so let's go to jQuery events now. What are events? Um, an event is all the different visitor actions that a web page can respond to. Represents that precise moment when something happens. So our first um, event is the on method and the on method Basically, what it does is that it attaches one or more event handlers for the selected elements and child elements. In this example, we see that it's going to take the click method as well. And every time the PHTML element is clicked, an alert will rise. So let's go real quickly to see it. So here's the, P, the HTML element we created. And every time the jQuery found this element and I click on it, the alert is going to show up. So that's pretty straightforward, simple. Let's move on to the next um, event we're going to cover is the ready method. And the ready method or event occurs when the document object model or DOM has been loaded. And because this event occurs after the document is ready, it is a good place to have all other jQuery events and functions such as in the following example. The ready method specifies what happens when a ready event occur, occurs, occurs. So um, very similar to the first element, for, to our first um, example, we're going to click here, but instead we're searching for a button. And when we click that button, um, our P HTML elements is going to slide up and down to reveal or hide the text. So here's our button. and so. That's um, toggle between slide up and slide down for a P element. And here's, we have a, a, re, a text that's been revealed. So when we click on the button, it'll hide. And we when, when we click it again, it'll slide down and that so forth. And so for, um, that'll go back and forth. And so um, moving to our next event, we have the click method, the click event. This is going to be very similar to our first example because we're using, again, the click um, event and the click event attaches an event handler function to an HTML element. Basically, this function is executed when the user clicks on the HTML element. So for the following example, when we say the P element says click me, um, it's going to, again, show an alert. The paragraph was click. So click me, I click that P element and my alert shows up. Finally, we're going to see the hover method and the hover, hover method takes two function because it will be a combination of the mouse enter and mouse leave methods. The first function when we think about mouse enter is executed when the mouse enters the HTML element and the second function when we think about the mouse leave is executed when the mouse leave the, that HTML element. In this example, it's a good example because we see nested functions and we see that we can use jQuery to add CSS to our HTML elements. So basically what we do is that when I have the mouse away from my HTML element, I'll, I am adding the CSS with background um, pink, but when I put the mouse on top of my element and I'm hovering over it, I'm adding the um, CSS background yellow. So finally, let's move on to create, to hopefully create a fully functional event. Let's create a sliding panel to reveal and hide text. With jQuery, you can create a sliding effect on elements. jQuery has the following slide methods, slide down, slide up, slide toggle. Um, so when we talk about slide down, is to basically you know, slide down an element. When we talk about slide up, uh, we slide up an element. The toggle will go back and forth between sliding down, sliding up. If the element has been slid down, then it will slide up and is it slid, and if the element have been slid up, then it'll slide down. So here we have another good example of using jQuery. This time we're not searching for um, HTML elements, we're searching for attributes or 
we are searching for IDs that are inside our HTML elements. And for the first one, the um, flip ID, we just we want to click on that because when we click on that flip ID, it's going to slide down or up our panel, and it's going to reveal our our panel. And our panel, what is will be revealing is hello world. So I'm going to be using slide toggle because I wanted to go up and down. I'm also using CSS in this example because I think it shows a great way to integrate everything. And the reason I also I'm using CSS is because I want to create a panel that hides this message until I click on the flip on the flip um, ID. So I'm going to show you with CSS and without CSS so maybe you can understand my point hopefully. So here's my my panel, I click here to slide down, so I have my panel with the hello world message, and I click it again to go up, so everything works perfectly the way I want to, but when if I remove the CSS, and mostly if I remove this CSS, I will be just showing this already, and that's what I, with the CSS, that's what I wanted to hide, it'll still work, it'll go up, and it'll go down, but I want those elements to be already hidden so my toggle will work better or it looks more efficient, more clean. Okay, so, and well, with this, we're basically so yeah, um, basically, this is it for our events tutorial on jQuery events. Um, hope um, it was pretty straightforward. So, good luck and have fun.